Thank you so much for joining us today. Tomorrow morning is going to be a, a very exciting time with a lunar eclipse on the way. Absolutely, yes. Tomorrow is going to be an incredible view. We're going to have a big, bright, beautiful full moon, and then it's going to be a total lunar eclipse, the last one visible in the U.S. until 2025. So around 2.09 a.m. Mountain Time, the moon will begin entering into Earth's deep shadow, and so it'll start looking like there's a bite taken out of it. And then at 3.17 a.m., the moon will pass into the darkest part of Earth's shadow. So it will turn a brilliant coppery bright red color until a little before 4.45 a.m. And then you'll see that moon with a bite taken out of it on the other side. Um, and then that will be our view of a partial eclipse um, until around the time when the moon exits the deep shadow at, or a little before 6 a.m. <laughs> And it's very cool. We're seeing another one this year. You mentioned it's going to be another couple of years. Why is it that we have such odd synchronicity with uh, the lunar eclipse cycle? So there's a lunar eclipse about every six months, uh, but some of those eclipses are total eclipses like this one. Some of them are partial eclipses where we just get that, you know, cookie, cookie looking moon. Um, and some of them are penumbral eclipses, which means that the moon only goes into sort of the lighter part of Earth's shadow. And they're a little bit hard to tell unless you know what you're looking for. So the cadence remains the same, but how often we get a total lunar eclipse changes a little bit. Certainly. So uh, our eyes are certainly going to be turned to the moon this month for a couple of reasons. We've got the lunar eclipse, but also another attempt at launching Artemis 1. Can you talk a little bit about that? Certainly, yes, we are getting ready to go back to the moon with people. And with Artemis 1, we are heading to the moon uh, without people first, just to check out our spacecraft, to make sure everything is set uh, for when we do send our astronauts. Our Artemis 2 mission will take astronauts around the moon. And then with Artemis 3, we are going to put people back on the moon's surface. So we're going to go to the South Pole uh, for the first time, which is just going to be an incredible place for science and also for some resources that our astronauts might be able to use. We're going to explore more of the moon surface than we ever have before. And we're going to take what we learn with our commercial partners, our, our international partners, to uh, build not only a sustainable or a, a long-term presence on the moon surface, but then get ready to go to Mars with astronauts. So it's a really exciting time. Andrea Jones, thank you so much for joining us today, NASA Science Communicator. Thank you.